Hello, this is James. Konami has outdone themselves with the White Dragon of Legend EX Structure Deck. Now, I am aware that I've done a video about this in the past, but that was a leaks video. We did not have the full deck list. We did not have the pricing structure. So the White Dragon of Legend EX Structure Deck is available for the free to play. You can get one deck for 1,000 gems. So in this video, we're going to answer the question, is this deck worth a thousand gems? Is this deck worth it to get one of for the free to play at the cost of 20 packs? So this deck has blue eyes support. It has some legacy super rare cards. I think first aid squad is one. And it has heretics and we're gonna talk about each of them in turn. So the first and the smallest group is our legacy cards. We have Symbols of Duty. This is from the Chaotic Compliance main box. Uh, send a normal monster you control to the graveyard, then target one monster in either player's graveyard. Special summon it, and if you do, equip this card to it. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. So this is, if you go all the way back to Chaotic Compliance, this is easily like the most interesting, well, besides maybe the ritual version of Black Cluster Soldier, but this is easily the most interesting ultra rare in it but the reason that you don't really see symbols of duty is that it just sets your opponent up to give you a minus two uh so you go symbols of duty it costs you your normal monster it costs you the symbols of duty uh you can revive a monster from your graveyard or steal a, an opponent's monster that's in the graveyard but you would have already had to put it in the graveyard there in the first place regardless uh symbols of duty all it needs to happen is your opponent needs to have a Canadia or a Cosmic Cyclone, which everybody has now. And then Symbols of Duty gets removed from the field, that gets destroyed, and then you lose the monster, and then you lost your investment, which is the, the one normal monster. So Symbols of bo Booty. Symbols of, you know what? Maybe make that video. Symbols of Duty is the, is bait, is, is ultra rare bait. Do not get this for Symbols of booty. All right, uh, the next card, I think First Aid Squad is in the main box, but don't really concern yourself with this. This is this seems like normal monster support, but it's, it's long story short, it's way too slow. Uh, target a more normal monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, so like the normal monster already has to get into the graveyard. When a normal monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card in defense position as a normal monster, which and it's a Warrior Earth level three. If it was maybe a level five, we might have something. We could we could do some some Shinkuro Shokan with that. But I don't really like First Aid Squad. What I do like is Birthright. So Birthright, activate this card by targeting one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face-up attack position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When the mo monster leaves the field, destroy this card. So I think that the first good like synchros that we're gonna have are gonna be off of normal monsters. Konami wants to play this 5Ds era nice and slow. So Birthright is gonna be a valuable card, be it in uh, Azure Eyes Silver Dragon deck, bringing back the Blue Eyes, or just you're reviving normal, normal tuners, Genix Controller and Galaxy Serpent, Birthright, is going to let you recycle those normal monsters for more Shinkuro Shokan. Um, a note on the box that Birthright comes from. So Birthright comes from Servants of Kings. Servants of Kings is a powerhouse mini box. Only 80 packs. And it actually has a lot of good cards that are still relevant and I can see being relevant into the future. And that includes Chalice. Actually, let's... Yeah, Chalice. A painful decision, draining shield to a lesser extent, and wall of the daddy. So this box is easily revisiting for all at like five of these cards, uh, but you know, you could easily go twenty packs and not get the birthright. So that actually that actually makes a strong case for the value for me right there because I only have one. All right. So the next thing is. The blue eyes support and now the question that you want to answer when you're looking at this blue eyes support is does this and does this solve the problem of the azure eyes silver dragon deck 
does this search blue eyes white dragon for me does it make that powerful engine of destruction available to to me so the first is blue eyes solid dragon this card is normal special you can target one face of monster your opponent controls and negate the effect when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect you can shuffle this card from the field into the deck and if you do special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your deck blue eyes solid dragon makes blue eyes white dragon available it's like ultra athlete midfielder when if your opponent pops a treacherous trap hole targets the blue eyes solid dragon solid dragon retreats into the deck and then you can bring out your fresh and shiny untouched blue eyes white dragon this is a good card that's why you're only getting one of it uh we're getting two of the dragon spirit of white this is always a blue eyes card. This card is treated as a normal monster while in the hand or the graveyard, so you can special it with ancient rules. You can special it with birthright. When this card is normal special, you can target one spell trap card. Your opponent controls banish it. During either player's turn, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card, special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. Dragon Spirit of White does not make blue eyes white dragon available. So even at two... Uh, this doesn't solve the Azure Eyes Silver Dragon deck problem. It is only, it's like a fancy version of Protector of White. It, it softens up the field. It has like a, it, it has a special summon uh, effect. Do do do. Yeah, because well, you can special summon with Ancient Rules. And then you can tribute the card itself and you get Blue Eyes White Dragon, but it already has to be in your hand. Uh, Cosmo Brain, blah, blah, blah. Tribute one effect monster, including itself. Special summon one normal monster from your hand or deck. So this is searching out, well, not just blue eyes, but all of your normal monsters that you might be interested in. Uh, okay, that's heretics. These are, these are, okay, just these random little cards. So mechanical archfiend is a little better than I initially said. You can set it, and its high defense value means that it'll likely inflict battle damage, and then you can special summon a normal monster from your hand or your graveyard so it's like a little bit of kind of like a free ancient rules i guess and then or or you know like a, a free little revival but that's in the later game when maybe the monster is able to overcome mechanical archfiend so that's kind of that's kind of a 50 50. rider of the storm winds is like this is in a very good tuner because it doesn't special summon anything uh luster dragon this is like a really old dragon card don't worry about luster dragon Bingo Machine Go is an amazing card that searches blue eyes because you can activate Bingo Machine Go and then just pick three blue eyes and then one of them is going to get added to your hand. Uh, Common Charity, this is super old. Cry Havoc is not as good as it sounds. You can't normal summon a blue eyes off of Cry Havoc uh, because the standard rules of normal summoning still apply. It has to be level four or lower. Uh, Non-spellcasting area it's it's like a cheap version of like softening up your opponent's field it's like a cheap version of back row removal protecting your monsters from from those spells but we don't really have a spell meta right now it's a trap meta uh, maybe valuable in the future but i think you get this from i think this is from a box also so oh yeah yeah i have three of them it's definitely from a box uh heretic seal of supremacy so this is a one of I have eight of them. Okay. So this is also from a box. And this brings us to, I think, that the secret technology of the White Dragon of Legend. The Heratic Dragons. So this new Heratic support. We already have uh, Sutek and um, whatever. Green Dragon and Yellow Dragon. But they're not, like, crazy great. Uh, these dragons are kind of crazy great. And we're going to talk about why. Uh, so, Heratic Dragon of Sue, special summon this card by tributing one Heratic Monster. You can tribute one Heratic, accept this card from your hand or side of the field, target one spell trap card, your opponent controls, destroy that target. When this card is tributed, so this is the important part, special summon one Dragon type normal monster from your hand, deck or graveyard, make its attack and defense zero. So, that could be Blue Eyes, that could be Galaxy Serpent, a level two tuner. And here we have the most important one of all of these, and the Nebthed is similar to Sue, except it hits monsters. The most important one of all of these is the level 5 
Paratic Dragon of Esset. You can normal summon this card without tributing, but its original attack becomes 1,000. So that's so that's that's making the party popping right there. You don't need to have a Heratic already on the field like Sue and Nebthet. You can uh, use your Esset. You can normal summon it, and then blah blah blah. When this card is tributed, special summon one dragon type normal monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, make its attack and defense zero. So, here's the combo, right? You have your S set, which actually, again, with one deck, has good consistency, because you're getting two, you're getting two of the party popper, you normal summon it without tributing, right? And then you can special summon your Sue or your Nebthet on top, or, or yeah, your Sue or your Nebthet on top of S set, and then Esset's effect in the graveyard is going to let you get out a Galaxy Serpent. So you have a level 2 tuner Galaxy Serpent. And then you either have Sue or you have Nebthet. You either have a level 6 or a level 5. The Heratics are, are a free inherent engine for getting out level 7 or 8 Synchro Monster material. And again, that's off of Galaxy Serpent, which is a level two tuner. And the important thing to, to know when you're getting your one deck for your free to play is that you're getting two of the party poppers. You're getting two of the S set. I know I've already said that, but that's that's really the, the crucial thing that I think makes the value for this deck. Obviously, if you want to cons- so Black Rose Dragon is a level seven. Stardust Dragon is a level 8. If you want to consistently have like a Stardust Dragon, you're going to want more Sues. If you want to consistently have like a Nebthet strategy, a, a, a Black Rose Dragon, or a Power Tool Dragon, or, um, or a, you know, when we get Jack Atlas, I'm pretty sure Red Dragon Archfiend is a level 8. Uh, anyway, you'll, you'll want more of these, but since you can get Stardust from the box, uh, you can throw Stardust into your extra deck onto your Akiza with uh, with Crimson, whatever the Black Rose Dragon skill, and you can start you can start playing around with with having a a, a synchro strategy. So I think with Heratics, this is this is our first taste of not not having the best synchro monsters, but having like a fun and and interesting way of summoning. The, uh, the synchro monsters. So for me, I'm gonna call it worth it. We're getting the birthright. We're getting two of the party popping uh, Heratic Dragon of S set. I'm gonna go ahead and get one EX structure deck. Uh, but that's for me because I'm doing YouTube stuff, and um, we need to we need to, we need to have the cards available. If you do not have maxed out gems like like I do, I would suggest waiting for the next mini box, but I still, oh, look, we got a Prismatic Symbols of Duty. Uh, I would go ahead and strongly consider this mini box, uh, consider the structure deck because it is actually providing some pretty good value. Thank you for watching.